This was literally the best queen that I have ever had in my whole life. Pancakes, literally the worst thing I have ever had in Greece. I don't like it. Meanwhile, I was filming. Really full of cheese. It's kind of greasy, but also good. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I can't wait. I just love this. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Hi guys! It's Vasi and welcome back to my channel and also welcome if you're new. I saw that many of you subscribed recently and honestly I couldn't be happier. And if you actually haven't subscribed yet, please don't forget to do so and hit the subscribe button down below. And for everyone new in here, please let me know in the comments down below how old are you, where are you from and maybe anything random that you would like to share, please feel free to do it. Welcome to my second episode of my series about Greece and as promised in my last video today I'm going to talk only about food. We're going to divide our video in four main topics. First one street food and bakeries, traditional restaurants, then fancy restaurants and something very important here are the beach restaurants. Actually the main purpose of this video is not only to show you how good and delicious the food in Greece is, which I'm not gonna lie it really is, but actually if you could come here what prices can you expect? street food and takeaway food oh my god you guys if you have been to greece you know how good the bakeries here are i just can't get over it the sweets here are just on another level the most typical sweet dessert is called baklava and the savory one is burek and typical prices that you would find here would go anywhere from 1 euro 50 up to 4 or 5 for burek for the sweets it might vary but it is usually around 30 euros per kilo so one of those small baklavas could be around one euro per piece we bought this from the bakery it's kind of a burek but made from different dough and it's full of cheese inside i mean i couldn't wait so i kind of had a bite we'll show you how's the inside but yeah we're having dinner at the balcony with the sunset really full of cheese it's kind of greasy but also good mm -hmm. how is it mm, it's greasy because we're in greece coffee i actually talked about coffee in my previous video but let's recap it if you go at a cafe and you sit there and you have your coffee it would be around two euros if you go to the beach and have it there it can go up to four or five euros because you're also paying for your umbrella together with the coffee the prices for restaurants, as you can imagine, can really vary and the ones that I will be showing you, it's a typical Greek restaurant with Greek food and you can also find cheaper places than this, but this was actually my favorite because the portions are huge as you see here. And now we just came back from the beach and we are going to have lunch and as you can see there aren't actually any other people and usually this place it's in the city center so it's full. I feel lonely, I want to socialize. Usually people come in the evening, oh there is another couple coming in. Yeah and that's it. And for a starter which here is called meze, you can expect to pay anywhere from 3 to 8 euros if it includes fish. This is the appetizer, it's called Santorini tomatoes. Mm. Tasty. It's basically this mix of tomatoes and feta cheese. You just can't imagine how good it is. Oh my god, I can't wait. I just love this. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. <laughs> then for the salads, they go anywhere from 6 to 10 euros. But just for a reference, look at how much a salad they have and how big this plate is. It's literally huge. Let me tell you, the Greek salad here, it's so big that Ben is also like struggling to finish it on his own. Ben is getting on mm. with the olive paste. How is I it? I like. No, you don't do that, you just grab it. And for the mains, you can expect to pay anywhere between 8 to 16 euros. 
and there are also actually bigger portions for two people that uh, that can go anywhere from 20 to 40 euros and and of course the meat is slightly cheaper compared to the fish most of the times when you go to a place they actually tell you which is the freshest fish which they got from the sea this day and this is the one that they will show you and they will recommend you getting and Ben what's your favorite part? Oh the bread I figured yes I like and the desserts this is literally my favorite and if you don't go to one of those amazing bakeries which you really should like you're totally missing out if you're not eating sweets like in London I really try to avoid any type of sugar but then you come here and you see like all delicious like super sugary sweets and they're just oh. The moment that you land in Greece, this is literally the moment that you have to go and take a baklava because it's literally so good. If you go to a restaurant, most of the time the dessert is uh, complimentary on the house. And uh, here, as you can see, we got these small ice creams that were a compliment and sometimes we get baklava or actually, I guess it's anything that uh, they have. Today we're going to this restaurant that it's called Marina, which is more expensive than the other ones, but we are kind of so excited. Why are we going there? Because there is a lot of fish oh. and it seems kind of cool and more fancy than the other places, so we are excited to try it out. And also there it was more of experimental Greek food. Of course, they were still using all Greek products and ingredients, but they weren't only the typical Greek dishes that you will find in any other restaurant. Meanwhile, I was filming. You typically can expect to pay one euro uh, extra both for the water and the bread. And here for our appetizer, we got oysters that were 12 euros for six. And actually I haven't seen this in uh, many restaurants here because I feel like it's not as common in Greece. And after that, we also got this marinated hobo fish that was seven euro and also the salad that was eight. And I have to say everything was like super delicious and of course the portions like weren't as big but I mean it's like marinated fish and oysters so like they never really come in big quantities oh my god guys I'm so embarrassed and I'm so sorry but I think I didn't film this I just have a couple of photos but this was literally the best squid that I have ever had in my whole life it is actually filled with uh, this uh, feta paste which uh, also had like a lot of herbs and spices and I just don't know what did they put inside but it was literally so good and lastly beach restaurants because as you can imagine here we spend a lot of time at the beach and there are a lot of places uh, at the beach like both restaurants and street food so this is the breakfast menu and as you can see it's like five to seven euros and then here the sandwiches are five six so the salads are all eight euros and then we have pizza 10 to 13 snacks mains we're waiting for lunch and i'm like dying i really want to eat yeah, I'll sort of like some yummy food. Let's say that this was the worst experience I have ever had in a Greek restaurant and also the worst like food I ever got, but you see in the end it got fixed. I haven't been more sad with my food, so look at Ben's pancakes. And this is six euros. And these are the, literally the worst thing I have ever had in Greece. I don't like it. I mean, it was like seven euros. Okay, it's not a lot, but it just looks very sad. And this is But in the end, they removed it from our receipt. I really hope you find this video useful and let me know what do you want to see next Let and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more travel related content or content about life abroad I would love to make those videos for you thank you guys for watching bye love you loads oh